Well, we had clear aims for the year to deliver a strong performance and progress our strategy. And we delivered on both of these. Our results are in line with our expectations and we continue to make progress with the changes and investments that will strengthen our platform for growth. In the year, we grew underlying earnings per share by 10%, led by Clean Air, which performed strongly as expected. Efficient natural resources saw good sales growth and we delivered strong margin improvement from improved efficiency and higher PGM prices. In health, the changes we've made improved our footprint, positioning ourselves for growth. And in battery materials, we continue to make significant progress. We have leading technology in ELNO and are now investing for breakout growth over the medium term. Our return on invested capital was 16.4%, held back slightly but by some higher levels of metal inventory we've had over the course of this year. But so overall, given our strong performance and our confidence in, the, in JM's prospects, we are proposing a 7% increase in the full year dividend. Our results give you a picture of our performance. But what you can't see behind the scenes is that every day nearly 15,000 JM people are working to solve the challenges our customers face and deliver on our strategy. To do that, we're making some fundamental changes across all aspects of the group, focusing on our people, processes and systems to build a more sustainable business going forward. These changes are crucial to our long-term success and will enable us to strengthen our platform for growth. We're investing in our people and strengthening the mix of skills, experience and diversity to deliver on our, on our ambitions. To enable our people to succeed, we are changing our processes. Standard transparent processes will transform the way that we work, substantially reducing complexity and increase our efficiency. This allows us more time for our people to focus on delivering great products and service for our customers. Alongside these, we're gaining a deeper understanding of our customers' needs and providing them with the solutions they require to drive their businesses. And our systems investments are also key to delivering the efficiency targets we've set ourselves. And while the pace and level of change is high, our world-class science remains at the very heart of our business. We have and will continue to invest in our science and technology to maintain our competitive advantage and use our expertise to solve our customers' most complex problems. The changes we're making around this core are creating a business that's more agile and efficient, one that will enable us to deliver for our customers. The result will be a business that is better positioned to drive growth in a world that is constantly changing around us. This year, our technology leadership in light duty diesel in Europe delivered our expected share gains. But given the market dynamics, where there is a shift away from diesel cars, we are now reallocating some of our R&D spend to gasoline technology to deliver future share gains there. In our clean air business, we will deliver our strategy for sustained growth through our global leadership with the best technology. Through our competitive advantage in working with our customers to enable them to meet increasingly stringent legislation and through an efficient manufacturing footprint. Tightening legislation will be a key driver for growth in clean air, particularly in China and India, with the implementation of China 6 and Barrett 6 for light and heavy duty vehicles. We will capture this growth to double our Asia business over the medium term. And we are expanding our manufacturing footprint, adding new capacity in Europe and Asia to support our growth. ELNO is the name of our portfolio of leading ultra-high energy density cathode battery materials. We've made good progress this year in the development and commercialization of ELNO. Our commercial plant, which we announce will be in Konin, Poland, is close to major customers in the battery electric vehicle supply chain. Building this first 10,000 tonne per annum plant is the quickest route to market and we are currently undertaking the preparatory work. We've made really good progress so far. The site also gives us the potential to expand our ELNO manufacturing capacity to up to 100,000 tonnes per year, well beyond the capacity of the first 10,000 tonne commercial plant. Over the last year, we've also been working hard to tailor ELNO to meet specific customer requirements, and our ability to customise is a key differentiator that puts us at the leading edge of technology. As we work through the various stages of testing, 
we receive constant feedback from our customers and I'm pleased to say that this remains positive. And as we move to full-scale commercialization, we'll continue to work through customer qualification. We've completed our move from lab scale to our pilot plant and our customers are now looking to test ELNO in their own applications. To support this, we're building three best-in-class customer application centers, two in the UK and one in Japan with a plan for further expansion. The first UK centre will be completed in 2019 and the remaining two in 2020. So we've achieved some major milestones and we continue to position ourselves for success in the global electric vehicle market. Overall, efficient natural resources perform well as we continue to drive efficiencies whilst focusing on high growth market segments. We're making good progress in commercialising newly developed sustainable technologies, such as the one that turns common household waste to aviation fuel. And we continue to simplify our product portfolio to optimise our offering to the market. At the same time, we're also seeing the benefits from our focus on efficiency, and we'll continue to look for further improvement as we drive profit growth ahead of sales. In health, we made further progress to develop and commercialise our pipeline of products. The generic pipeline remains substantially on track, although there are delays to some products. At the year end, we had 46 products in the pipeline, an increase of seven in the period, and one of our products was launched. Our pipeline of Innovator API products also continue to progress, with three products nearing commercialization. As we execute on our strategy, we have made significant progress in restructuring our assets. The closure of our Riverside plant in the US is now complete, and we are ramping up our UK plant in Annan. So in health, we're on track to deliver an additional £100 million in operating profit from our pipeline by 2025. Well, as we progress through the current year, a key priority will be ensuring the smooth ramp up of our new clean air manufacturing plants in Poland and China. And in battery materials, deliver our plans for the commercialization of ELNO. In efficient natural resources, our focus is to expand our newly developed license technologies in higher growth segments and also look to further improve our efficiency. And in health, it's the investment in our new product pipeline across both generic and innovators. At the same time, we'll continue to focus on progressing with the changes and in investments in people, processes and systems that will strengthen our platform for growth. We've delivered a strong performance this year. It's in line with our expectations and we've done it while making fundamental changes across almost every aspect of our business. For 2019-20, we expect growth in operating performance at constant rates to be within our medium-term guidance of mid to high single-digit growth. And we are investing to strengthen the platform for the future, which will enable us to successfully execute on our strategy and build a sustainable business for all our stakeholders for the long term. So Johnson Matthey has an exciting future ahead. I'm confident that we will deliver on our strategy and in doing so, achieve our vision for a cleaner, healthier world.